the gut and thyroid connection. How are they related with hypothyroidism or Graves or Hashimoto's? Let's talk about it. So your gut is the epicenter for inflammation. So if we think about it first in its connection to Hashimoto's, um, Hashimoto's, despite regular medicine viewing it as sort of this random thing that happens, functional medicine and my approach certainly, um, considers Hashimoto's and autoimmune diseases as inflammatory mediated, and so they are actually modifiable. Um, your gut is the center of inflammation and it can make or break you. So it is very, very common for people with gut issues like dysbiosis or an imbalance of good and bad bacteria or yeast in their gut, um, in rarer cases, leaky gut or food inflammation responses to trigger gut inflammation that then triggers Hashimoto's, okay? So one of the ways we actively work on reversing Hashimoto's at Modern Thyroid Clinic, and it is reversible, I have put mine into remission for well over a decade, and as well as many of our patients. I used to have an enormous goiter. I don't have one at all anymore, as you can see. Um, we work on the gut is a big part of reversing that Hashimoto state. So that's kind of phase one or the first kind of topic is Hashimoto's and gut. The next topic that still bleeds into the inflammatory conversation is it can affect the activation of your thyroid hormones. So gut inflammation in general can trigger systemic inflammation. When your body is inflamed, it does not want to activate your thyroid hormones. Instead of taking T4, your inactive or crude oil hormone and making it into gasoline, your T3 or your gasoline active hormone, it halts that and slows that conversion. Why? Because you're inflamed and it wants you to go into recovery mode and it's forcing you to do that by making you tired, by not activating your thyroid hormones and that leaves you with thyroid symptoms, right? Um, the other way that your gut impacts your actual thyroid function is your micronutrient absorption. So if your gut is really inflamed, you have poor micronutrient absorption, which is also involved in the activation of your thyroid hormones. Um, it can slow that as well. Gut inflammation can impact your liver. It makes your liver work harder. Again, slowing the activation of your thyroid hormones. So a gut, your gut is an extremely extraordinarily powerful place for you to work on thyroid function. Um, things as simple as a probiotic, things as simple as eating a low inflammatory diet, um, things like cutting out dairy or cutting out gluten can massively reduce that inflammatory burden that can trickle down and impact everything.